The world of AI is evolving like crazy, things change rapidly faster than we can follow. While some companies like Meta are doing all they can to embrace AI, other companies are pushing it away, resenting the revolution. Let's take a closer look at what's happening in the world of AI and how Elon Musk may become a savior or the killer of mankind. You probably know how controversial some of Elon's claims are when it comes to AI. On one hand, he's actively pursuing the idea that AI will destroy us all. But on the other hand, he heavily invests in AI. I think this is all a part of his elaborate plan and he's preparing something that will blow our minds away. In March, Elon led the petition with other prominent smart guys like Steve Wozniak to pause the development of AI. This petition is aimed at attracting attention to the problem of possible profile found risks to society and humanity that the development of AI can have. The petition expresses concerns about the lack of planning and control in deploying these advanced AI models, describing what's happening as an uncontrolled race that produces systems that the creators can't understand, predict, or control. The petition suggests taking a break to allow AI labs and independent experts to develop safety rules for designing advanced AI. The goal is to make AI systems more accurate, safe, easier to understand, trustworthy, and reliable according to the open letter. To me, this sounds like a valid opinion of quite a few industry experts. AI does need some regulation and control, maybe even supervision, first to filter out endless copies of the same thing, and second to minimize risks of incorrectly developed or trained AIs affecting the society in a harmful way. Of course, no AI will get anywhere close to launching nukes, but still. Another vision that in Musk's mind coexists with annihilation is AI becoming a global peacekeeper. During an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he proposed a scenario where AI takes control of weapons away from humans, preventing people from using them. Sounds like a very far-fetched idea that likely won't happen, but this shows the duality of Elon's claims and tweets. Even with such a deep influence in the world of AI and without a doubt impressive knowledge about it, Elon still can't really decide what he thinks of it. But not everyone is like Elon, there are many people who have made up their minds about AI. Take scientists, for example. Recently, we witnessed a groundbreaking discovery. Using AI, scientists have discovered an antibiotic against a deadly hospital superbug. The study, published in Nature Chemical Biology, focused on finding drugs to treat this bacteria, classified as one of the world's most dangerous drug-resistant bacteria. It causes pneumonia, meningitis, and wound infections, which can be fatal. It lives on hospital surfaces for extended periods and can acquire antibiotic resistance genes from other bacteria. By using AI, researchers rapidly assessed hundreds of millions, possibly billions, of molecules with antibacterial properties and managed to find a compound that specifically targets that bacteria. Basically, the AI has shortened the research process from months or years to days and weeks, which in the future will be reduced to hours. And scientists are not the only ones. General public, for example, is keen on embracing AI. And recently, more and more people are going crazy about Photoshop's new generative AI built into the latest version of the app. This new feature, called Generative Fill, uses artificial intelligence to make photo editing easier than ever before. You can magically add or remove objects from your photos just by typing a simple text prompt. Generative Fill simplifies previously time-consuming tasks, matching the perspective, lighting, and style of your image to deliver truly mind blowing results. For example, in a tutorial video released by Photoshop itself, they are adding an old classic car to the image without any manual work. Photoshop does it all by itself, adds a shadow, matches the light, and so on. Then the puddle gets added, and Photoshop not only delivers a puddle, but also creates a reflection of a car in it. That's absolutely phenomenal. So the internet is taken by storm by this feature. Thousands of TikToks are appearing every day with people doing all sorts of stuff. This is truly a next level level, a small detour from what Stable Diffusion or Dolly 2 can do, but an important one. Maybe the next fact will help Elon make up his mind about AI. It can play Minecraft. Finally, after all these years, jokes aside, the way OpenAI achieved this is kind of groundbreaking. Hear this. They used a technique called VPT, Video Pre-Training, on a huge collection of videos showing human gameplay. Of course, most of such videos are unlabeled, which means they only show what's happening on the screen, but for AI to actually learn, it's necessary to know which buttons are being pressed. To 
overcome this challenge, OpenAI started by collecting a small data set from players, capturing both their videos and the corresponding actions taken, like key presses and mouse movements. Using this data, they trained an inverse dynamics model that predicts the actions performed at each step of the video. And with this model, they managed to analyze thousands of unlabeled videos to teach the AI. And now, after some small adjustments, the AI model can even learn to craft diamond tools. This task typically takes skilled players over 20 minutes and involves around 24,000 actions. The model interacts with the game using the same controls humans do through key presses and mouse movements. OpenAI representatives believe that this new VPT approach, an inverse dynamics model, can in the future lead to AI learning even more things, not just text or image generation. But what if Elon has made up his mind already? You know the saying, put your wallet where your words are. Well, Elon is doing almost that. I think his investments in AI technology serve as a real indicator what he really thinks. Elon has contacted Jimmy Ba, a top-tier research professor at the University of Toronto, pitching the idea of creating a new AI company. At the same time, he has hired multiple first-class AI researchers from Google's DeepMind. And he's also been quite vocal about creating a rivaling AI that will challenge Chat GPT. He calls it Truth GPT. In an interview with Tucker Carlson, Musk said a lot of stuff. He criticized OpenAI, he accused OpenAI of teaching the AI to lie and becoming a closed source, profit driven organization. Musk also expressed dissatisfaction with Larry Page, the co founder of Google, for not taking AI safety seriously. Right there, in that interview, Musk shared his plan to develop an AI called Truth GPT that focuses on seeking and understanding understanding the truth about the world. He believes that this approach would be a safer option that is less likely to harm humans. Musk acknowledges that he was starting this venture later than others, but was determined to create an alternative solution. I think the main reason Elon may sometimes push the AI away is because he does something wrong. Just like many business owners now who are embracing the power of AI, but doing it all wrong. He may just use the wrong prompts. For business owners and entrepreneurs, ChatGPT has become a savior, a magic wand that increases profits and minimizes expenses. Maybe Elon just uh, hasn't figured out the game yet but we can help. So to make things easier for you and Elon, we've created a huge pack of prompts that does all the work for you. Just copy it and paste. We designed all prompts to be more than time savers. Every single one is crafted to maximize the effectiveness and improve your earnings. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. With these prompts, 10 minute actions will take mere seconds and your workflow will be fast and straightforward like an and now we have a huge discount, 50% the original price. So be sure to check it out, the link is in the description. But doesn't everything that Elon's been doing seem suspicious to you? Elon first invests in OpenAI to just leave the company three years later, and when the company succeeds and becomes the hottest thing and pretty much kicks off the AI race, Elon sees a lost opportunity. So his plan is not to tank OpenAI, but to create a rival. With all his publicity, access to Twitter, and overall image of a genius who wants to save the world, it would be easy to sell people the idea that his AI won't lie. So Elon starts hiring AI specialists, poaches them from Google, who's been researching AI for ages now. He speaks to lead researchers trying to create a new company and uses media to popularize the idea of a truth-seeking AI. At the same time, he signs a letter asking companies to pause all developments of AI systems that are more powerful than ChatGPT. As I see it, he just wants to win himself some time to launch his own AI product. I don't want to be a tinfoil hat guy, but it does make a lot of sense. You pause any developments in order for your team to get ahead. You poach prominent researchers from competitors and you use media to generate hype. Seems like a perfect plan. Maybe Elon just tries to do it all at once, maybe it's a part of his plan, or maybe he just genuinely didn't make up his mind yet. And the same thing is happening to many executives, CEOs and tech companies. For example, Mark Zuckerberg from Meta, aka Facebook, promises that AI will soon be built into all Meta products. During an internal meeting, he revealed various new products and features such as chatbots for Messenger and WhatsApp that can engage in conversations with different personas. Instagram will also introduce 
use text-based photo modification. And Mark Zuckerberg really expresses confidence in the advancements of generative AI and strongly believes it is the future. But as I said, not every company is as desperate to get into the AI race. Apple, for example, is avoiding this topic as hard as they can. At a recent WWDC keynote, Apple executives didn't say a single word about AI, instead advocating for machine learning. Yes, features that Apple has introduced do fall under the AI umbrella, like transcription of voicemails, improved autocorrection, and so on. Right now, it is unclear whether Apple is planning to participate in this AI race, but the approach they chose shows where their priorities are, and that's not AI. The only question left to Elon that I want to ask is the name. Does Elon know there already is Truth GPT? Guys basically stole the name, created an AI assistant, and are selling crypto with it. Seems very shady. Elon will definitely have to clear the pooch before launching his GPT rival. That was my lame attempt at humor, guys. And what do you think? Is this all a part of Elon's plan or he genuinely can't decide what to think of AI? Type your opinion in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe and make sure to watch our other videos to improve your AI game. And don't forget about the prompt pack. See you in the next one. Peace.